hi, I'm James and welcome back to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte Aero XC15, an awesome RTX 3070 powered gaming notebook. I'll be unboxing the device, taking a look at all its ports, connectivity and features before booting it up and trying out the all important gaming performance. So let's dive straight into it. The notebook comes packaged in this really nice sort of matte black box with these aero highlights. And then on the right hand side, you'll find this little brown box, which includes your power cable. And make sure you take this out and keep this safe. We'll come back to this in a moment's time. You'll then also find yourself the actual notebook itself. We've got some nice uh, soft packaging material to keep it safe in transit. And then an aero branded bag. Let's get rid of all the packaging and actually focus on the notebook for now. First impressions before even taking it out of the bag is actually the form factor. For a 15 inch notebook, it feels very, very compact. The design is also really, really nice. We've got this nice uh, metallic aero logo up top with these cool sort of black accents as well. I like that a lot. With plenty of ventilation at the rear, but no ports or IO. Unlike some bulky gaming notebooks, all of the connectivity you need is actually on either side. More on that shortly though. For now, let's go ahead, lift our notebook's lid, and there you will see the stunning included display. Really, really thin bezels on either side, uh, with a bit of a chin on the bottom, and these nice hinges, which give a floating aesthetic to the notebook. You'll also find a keyboard layout that includes both a number pad and arrow keys. For all intensive purposes, it's sort of a full-size layout, but squashed in slightly. No space in either side of the arrows, as you would typically see on a standard external keyboard. That's obviously done though, to keep things in a nice form factor. Let's move around and take a look at the IO and the connectivity. Starting off on the left-hand side of the device, you'll find yourself a full-size HDMI port, uh, what looks to be a mini display port connection. For plugging in any other panels, this is really easily adapted. You'll then also find yourself a USB 3 connection type A with a headphone mic jack and a full size ethernet port. It's really important that notebooks for gaming have ethernet on as it makes them much better for LAN parties and first person shooters where you want the reliability and low latency of a wired connection. Moving around to the other side, we've got a pair of USB 3 ports once again type A. You've then got USB type C with an SD card reader and of course your power port. You'll also see a good deal of ventilation on either side and loads and loads of airflow at the bottom of the notebook, having to keep our Max-Q3070 nice and cool. Let's move back then to that power adapter and actually go ahead and boot the notebook up. Uh, on one end, you'll find a standard UK plug to a kettle lead, and then you will also see we've got the power brick itself. One of the impressive things about this notebook is its power consumption. Considering just at how much power this has under the hood, it doesn't take that much wattage from your wall. And that's shown with this really compact power brick. Often gaming notebooks have such massive power bricks, they're bulky and they get in the way. But this is super portable and wouldn't look out of place on a train or in an office or at a workplace. Nice one, Gigabyte. Let's go ahead though and boot this up. We're gonna install some games and we'll rejoin you in a moment to test out the performance and see what it's like when it's all powered up. The first game I'm going to try out on this Gigabyte Aero notebook is Splitgate. Running at 1080p, we've got pretty much everything tuned up to Epic, apart from our VSync settings, which we've of course disabled to make sure we can get the maximum frame rate. Talking of frame rate, you'll be able to see a frame rate counter in the top left of the screen, and I'll refer to the frame rate we achieved throughout. So you can see just how this 3070 design with an Intel Core i7 stacks up. Waiting to load into our first game, we're gonna pick uh, our preferred map and see what happens. This game is kind of like a portals oriented game that we saw a couple of years ago. You can put multiple portals around. It's sort of a battle royale that takes some of the mechanics from Fortnite, but you do get respawn, making it quite arcadey, something I personally really, really like. Keep an eye on that frame rate though, as I say, we're starting off at the moment about 120 frames a second before the game has even started. So that's a very, very promising sign as far as frame rate goes. In three, in two, in one, here we go. And we are off. We're still at the 120 frames a second mark. Let's see if that changes as we start getting those kills on the board. I absolutely love this game. It is so much fun and a really, really great one if you're looking for something that is a little bit Battle Royale-esque but gives you the respawn so that when you do that, your game's not completely ruined. Let's try that one again, shall we, as we respawn in for the second time. Yeah! 
as we got our first kill. I did have to sacrifice myself for that kill though, which is not typically the way I would go about doing things in split game. But anyway, we got our first kill on the board. Uh, that's it's proved to be quite a difficult game this game actually for some uh, for some reason. Normally we have a bit more luck, but we uh, we carry on. Maybe that's the start of things to come. Yes, lovely stuff. I said it might have been the start of a bit of a fresh change in Splitgate. As we got our second kill on the doors, let's go for kill number three to round things off nicely. Or maybe not as they round out the game. Either way, still look great. 120 frames per second, not to be uh, complained at on our lovely Gigabyte Aero Notebook. Next up, CSGO. In terms of the settings we're going to be using, we're running at 1080p. We've got basically high or max settings across the board. And I've also turned on the frame rate counter in the top left so that we can monitor the FPS that we're able to achieve on this notebook. Uh, we'll give it a few minutes until we jump into the next round and then see if our 180 or so frames per second continues when we're not in spectator mode and when we're actually in the playing mode, the one that counts. We're testing offline with bots as it gives a worst case scenario. Online, where you're not rendering in the other players yourself, will actually give you even more frame rate. So this is a great worst case scenario test as we've got just a few moments left of this initial round. This is a bit more like it. We've got the sniper out. I can see them off in the distance, just peeking that wall with all of our 120 frames a second. Here we go again. Oh, this is really, really plugging them off one by one, all on my own. Here we go. There's a second. But a sniper is just undefeated in this circumstance. Oh, and again, oh, it's just, it's just not behind that wall. Let's try that one more time. Off we go, boom, beautiful. As we see it at an incredible 200 or so frames per second, higher than the refresh rate of this display, meaning we've got more than enough frame rate. And we are gonna get held back in CSGO on this Aero notebook. But it isn't just games though. I'll know that this notebook can actually perform very well in. It's also creator-led applications. We've gone ahead and loaded up a Photoshop and an Adobe Premiere profile on this notebook to show not only the gaming, but also the video and the photo editing prowess. This powerful hardware isn't just a one trick pony. It isn't just the GPU and CPU inside that make it great for these applications. It's also the screen. Look at that. Super sharp, colors are incredible, and it's X-Rite uh, Pantone certified as well, meaning it's going to be super color accurate. That video is a great demo, but not quite as good as a real world video editing test. This right here is a project file from one of the recent videos you may have seen over on the eBuyer YouTube channel. And you can see at the moment, it's playing back in absolutely real time. Switching it up to full resolution and the playback still stays silky smooth. But what about if we wanted to make some changes? We wanted to adjust what is already a great video and make it maybe a little bit different or better, however you would like to look at it. To do that, I'm gonna change the color grade of this shot right here. So this shot right here is me standing in front with a keyboard, a mouse, a headset, and an awesome PC build. What if I wanna put a LUT on it? I wanna change the colors very slightly. I want to increase the exposure, but now the highlights are a bit blown out, so I'm gonna pull those back. I want to bring the shadows up as the image has too much contrast. And I also want to add just a little bit of sharpening to make our lovely cameras look even better. So let's take the sharpening up. What about if I wanted to do something really wacky? I wanted to whack some sort of, I don't know, blue into the shadows of the image. I wanted to pop a little bit of uh, teal or orange into the highlights and give it sort of a tropical feel. Not a great look for me that I will admit, but it is a quite a quick way of doing things. I'm just gonna change the balance around a little bit to make the look uh, a little bit nicer. And I also maybe want to give it an S curve. This is often referred to in our industry as adding a bit of contrast, bringing the highlights up bringing the shadows down, making something a bit more moody. We can see here that I can actually take off this effect and that's the before, here's the after. I'm not sure the after looks that good, but it is a lot of visual effects to really test the editing software. Skipping back to a portion of the video I haven't touched, this continues to play well, as you might expect. But then once we jump into the color graded bit, it runs at perfect real-time speed, not dropping any frames. I can even go ahead and disable the color grade as we go and it will add it in or take it away dynamically on the fly. Wow. But what about photo? Video, some would argue, is a little bit easier than photo if you've not got quite so many layers. What about a Photoshop file with more layers that you can shake a stick at? We're loading up this AlphaSync composition. This is sort of a combination of a number of the PCs available over at ebuy.com. If any composition has got layers, it is this one. Once it loads, of course, Photoshop, it's quite a big file. Here we go, look at that. 
So we can not only zoom in and go in in real time, we can also go in and change the contrast or the brightness. Jump into image adjustments, and then we can make the PC look even brighter if we wish. That's not how it looks out the box, hence uh, we'll pop it back to normal, but it just goes to show you can really tweak these things on the fly, get a nice preview of how things might look, increase the brightness, reduce the contrast, really have a play in real time. We can leave those effects off if we like, or I don't know, take this PC and increase its brightness. We want to make the whole thing a little more poppy. We want to make the thing pop a little bit more. We'll take a look at that. That works an absolute treat. Not only that, we can then also render the image or save the image for final delivery over on the eBuy website or our social media channels, looking absolutely fantastic. It just goes to show these notebooks are more than a one trick pony. Gaming, got it covered. Video editing, got that covered. Photo editing, oh yes. And with an awesome looking display, this Gigabyte Aero notebook ticks so many boxes. With that though, that just about wraps it up for our first look, unboxing and overview of this Gigabyte at Aero Gaming and I guess creative editing notebook. This multitasking extraordinaire will be sure to look after you in 2022 and beyond. Thanks for tuning into this video though, and as always, we'll see you soon here at eBuyer.